QKR Navahab Gold Mine officially handed over infrastructure, including a refurbished hostel, a new dining hall, kitchen, and laundry facilities at a fundraising dinner held by the Caribbean Private School. The company revealed that $7 million is spent every year on improving education at the private school and ensure that employees' children receive the highest standard of learning. The managing director indicated that bursaries, job attachments and employment opportunities for graduates are also offered by the company as a way to support their community. I'm happy to announce that Kikera Namibia now have gold mine is already in the process of constructing a fence around the school and upgrading our sports facilities for the school. We do not end our collaborative assistance only with KPS. We also go around the country, go around the constituents to also assist. As a result, we are in the process of constructing a block of, of classrooms are for the next door school, Caribbean Junior and Secondary School. We do not want any learner left behind. The school is considered a top performing institution in the region, consistently attaining a 90% pass rate among grades 10 and 12. Last year, the school achieved a 100% pass rate. These achievements clearly demonstrate that the school has, 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 has what it takes to produce best results. But it is very important that to achieve and maintain these levels of performance, an environment that is conducive to learning must prevail. Such an environment must include the availability of the financial resources. That's why we're here tonight and which are helping to generate, helping to generate through this event. One of such benefit is improving results in schools. When you undertake a school renovation project or upgrade an existing building, you want to ensure that it will not only enhance school facilities, but also learners' academic performance. Good school interior design is the key factor in academic improvement and in improving the overall well-being of people, as well as helping to attract and retain the best staff and teachers. At the dinner, funds were raised for the school through a mock auction of prominent people in the Caribbean community. The organizers generated about $60,000, which will be spent on the construction of a playground to promote a culture of learning through play. Renata Rengura, NBC News, Caribib.